Omu ibo. Ekele eno. Ibo mama no. Ndo mire ndo azo. Awe eza agu ile ku. Eza agu yi tivi. Ekele di ishine ke na. Aya wego no president. Bola ame de tunubu. Andamo. Awe ife mfuro. Yesterday. Omu na point. Nde ya na ye so we rano. Yeah, new appointee, the people that he's going to work with in the office. And um, looking at the appointees, I could remember when um, Buhari came into office eight years ago. Buhari the busy la appoint you muni ya wun northerners. Ndi bo nandi we bo nyo bula liti. How can you work with one tribe? How can you fix Nigeria with one particular tribe? And you know that it's not going to be possible. For us to work as one Nigeria, you need to bring people from every part of the country and work with them. office. At all, at all, when you go to your office. I don't know his plan for him not to work with the Igbos. Today, look at where Nigeria condition is. Now, Bola made to Nuba Bagol office. And we are now experiencing the same thing. Bola made to Nubu may appoint Indian Airways to a run yesterday. Kambido, Kambido, Obaga, Fanda. Opa, Malam. No Rebadu, National Secretary Advisor. Or um, Major General C.G. Musa, Chief of Defense Staff. Or Major T.A. Lagbaja, Chief of Army Staff. That's only Yoruba. Or Rear Admiral E.A. Ogala, Chief of Naval Staff. Onya should be only middle belt or only north central or all avm hb abubaka chief of air staff only should be on your sir dig kayode egbe tokun acting inspector general of police only yoruba or all major general epa on the Chief of Defense Intelligence. So the president have appointed these seven people now. Huh? Now it went on as following to appoint another another set of people. Colonel Ad ADBC Onasonya Brigade of Guard Commander. Omeko appoint Lieutenant Colonel. Moshud Abiodo, Yusuf Seven Guard Battalion, Asokoro, Abuja, Lieutenant Colonel Awalu Baba Inuwa, 177 Guard Battalion, Kefe, Nasarawa State, Omeko Point, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed J. Abdul Karim. 102 Guard Battalion, Suleja, Niger State. Omeko appoint Lieutenant General Olumide A. Akin Besote, 176 Guard Battalion, Wagwalada, Abuja. Oja Okonye, Yoruba. So he keep on appointing them. Obekwa Major Isa. Farouk Audu, Commandant Office Staff, House Artillery. Omekwa Captain Kazim Olalekon Sumonu, Second in Command, State House Artillery. Omekwa another appointee, Major Kamoru Kakoyejo Hamzat. Commanding Officer, State House Military Intelligence, all four mirror points in Ankara, Okoye Yoruba. 
Ome kwa point. Major T.S. Adeola. Commanding Officer State House Armament. Ome kwa. Lieutenant A. Amino. Second in command. House of Armament. O kanaga kwa liru. Le me kwa point again. Hadizad Bala Usman, Special Advisor, Policy Coordination. Omekwa point. Hanatu Musa Musawa, Special Advisor, Culture and Entertainment Economy. I think this person should be in our sir. Omekwa Senator Abdu, Abdullahi Abdu, Abubakar Gumel. Senior Special Assistant, National Assembly Matters, or for Senators. Honorable Barrister Ola Rewaju Kunle Ibrahim, Senior Special Assistant, National Assembly Matters, House of Representatives. Omecha appoint is a Adeni Bashao Adewale as Acting Controller General of Custom. Now, where does this lead in the Ibo? Or a bad gym lager? A better position in the Ibo not in Nigeria. Because we can't continue crying one Nigeria and um, we saw how Buhari marginalized the Ibo during his tenure. Eight years try to crumble the business of the Igbos. Try to marginalize our memory and the main Igbo can Igbo tawfo. Look at where we are today. Upon everything we are going through, they never care. But we have governors, senators, ministers in Igbos from the eastern. They are not saying anything. They are doing nothing to prevent the Igbos. Now, Bola Ahmed Tinubu I might go as president. A point is a DNA is a wrong. Still, yet there's no evil in it. My advice here is Mr. President, do not inherit the enemy of Mohammed Buhari so that you can have a, a, a fair playground for everybody, carry everybody along. You can't keep saying or crying for one Nigeria and um, you have a set of people you don't want to carry along in your government. I know how Ojus Okalo cried because that senior president, Yamako Kosirute, it is his time to be senior president, but I know how they deny him because he's from East, he's an Igbo man. They deny Ojus Okalo that senior president. Why? You people are angry because they voted for P2B. Is P2B not a Nigerian citizen? Is he not capable for him to run for president in Nigeria? Why are they marginalizing the Igbo? Why are you people treating Igbo this way? It's very, very unfair. Oh, we How can you appoint? Over 20 something people, over 20 something people into office. There's no evil man there. This is very, very unfair. All I, all I want to say is that you should not inherit Buhari enmity. Because if you inherit Buhari enmity, the same thing that happened during Buhari time will still continue to happen. The same problem we have in Buhari regime will continue to happen this time. Nigeria will not be able to move forward. You need to include everybody, include everybody, carry everybody along so that we can all work together and move the economy of Nigeria forward. You can't push the Igbo backward and think that Nigeria economy will move forward. No. The Igbos are involved most in Nigeria economy. If you don't know, you can't push them aside feeling that you want to marginalize them, you want to oppress them and thinking that Nigerian economy is going to move forward. Oh my son, name carry everybody along. We are one Nigeria. Put every anger, enmity, 
aside and bring these people along with you so that we can work together and build one Nigeria. Unless if you don't want to build one Nigeria, if people have any interior motive, I don't know. But all I'm saying that if we all want Nigeria to work as a country, carry everybody along. Carry everybody along. The Igbos, yes, we know we voted for P2B. A lot of people voted for P2B. Now you have a man as president. Carry everybody along. Bring everybody along so that they can forget about the pains. The pains they have they went through during the time of Buhari. Because the reason why everybody supported P2B was because the pains they went through in the hands of or in the regime of Buhari. That is the reason that triggered the people. The people voted for P2B. And don't make that same mistake. Carry everybody along. You can appoint 20 something or 30, 30 people into office or 20 something people into office and leave the Igbo behind. It's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. We will pray for one Nigeria and we will pray for you to succeed. I pray, I want you to succeed in office. But you need to carry everybody along so that Eme Wata Efe Meri Beya Obi Adi Amma. Yes, if you do to me what you do to the other person, everybody will be happy. You can't ask me to be happy and you are maltreating me bad and you are maltreating the other person very good and you expect me to be happy. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna be all right. Ndibo, our leaders, Ndibo, Ndibo leaders, Ohanes Ndibo, you people need to speak out. Our governors, our minister, you people need to speak out. You don't allow these things to be happening to the, your people and you keep quiet. They will do mind all of you just this, Arinda Alike, doing nothing. You people are doing nothing there. You people can't talk to them so that they can know how to, they can carry everybody along. How do you want the Igbos to feel? All I'm just saying that let the leaders, let Bola Ahmed Tunobu involve the Igbos. Carry everybody along. Carry everybody along in your government so that everybody can feel equal right in this government. Because follow me on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. It's Agui TV. Thank you.